uh, today I am going to make one pot pasta. Hubby's on late shift, so it's just me and the kiddies for dinner. So I don't really want to use loads of dishes and things like that. So it's just something nice and simple, something nice and easy. Um, I've got some frozen chicken breast fillets and these ones you can cook from frozen. You see it there, it says best results cooked from frozen. And then I've got a jar of sauce because I'm feeling lazy. So this is bacon and tomato, um, or tomato and bacon. So I've got a jar of sauce. I've got penne pasta, some garlic, and chuck some of that in. A red onion, a small red onion. And then I've got some frozen mixed bell peppers that in advance I always, when I get them fresh, I just chop them up and freeze them so nothing's getting wasted and I can just dip in and out of them as I please. So yeah, that is what I'm cooking for dinner for me and the boys tonight. Okay, so I just thought I'd mention that I have my normal saucepan lid on because I'm just searing my chicken and I don't want it to stick to the bottom because I want to cut it into small pieces and it's frozen. So just cooking that through ever so slightly enough for me to chop through it is just going to help. I did mention in one of my other videos about adding the normal saucepan lid when you're trying to defrost things um, really does help because the trap steam stops it sticking because obviously it's stainless steel and not non-stick and you know that trap steam really does help defrost things quickly so I'm quickly defrosting just one just one breast of chicken because there's you know three little boys and me there's plenty enough chicken with all the pasta um, and then obviously we've got my veggies and stuff so I'm just waiting for that chicken and we'll move on okay so I have just sauteed up my onions, my peppers, um, my chicken and I cut it really quite small. I only use one bit of chicken but it's more for the flavour. We just have a couple of bits of chicken each, that's perfectly fine for us. I'm now going to add in my, my sauce and I'm going to use the whole jar and then I'm also going to fill it up with water. So I'll do that. So I filled this jar up with water. And I'm going to pour that in. In case you were wondering, um, this is from Aldi. Most of my ingredients are from Aldi. So, so I'm now going to add in my garlic paste. We love garlic. So, this and onion I pretty much add into everything. I'm going to pop that in. And my pasta, is again from Aldi. Um, and with pasta, I generally use one cup per person. So, there's four of us, so that would be plenty. And then the here, if you can see, it says 11 to 13 minutes. So obviously 11 minutes is if you would want it a bit more um, crunchy and 13 is if you would want it softer. We like our pasta softer, um, so we go for the longer time. And then all you do is you half that. So, yeah. Oh, and round it off to the nearest minute, I suppose, because you can't really half 11 minutes. So I suppose you would just do six. So, yeah, let's get that. Okay, so I've mixed it all up. And it so happened that I ended up putting the whole bag in, so that was handy. And this is a 500 gram bag, in case you're wondering. So now it's all mixed, I'm going to apply the lid. So I'm going to add the lid. Make sure it is in the lock position. And I'm going to set it to manual for seven minutes and I'll come back when it's done okay so the safety relief valves dropped and we are safe to open cool. it, Lolly. Mm -hmm. cool. what is it Ollie? Pasta, yum, yum. pasta yum yum let's give it a stir you think that mummy wouldn't like you to stir because it's very hot mm -hmm. <laughs> is that you stirring? Are you stirring? No. You're getting shy. He's only getting shy. Yeah. So yeah. This is how it's looking. And this is it plated up. So as you can see, there's plenty to go around, even just with one bit of chicken. And I have already tasted it and it tastes lovely. So yeah, we're gonna get tucked in. Have a lovely day. Bye.